I'm Alex Carr, concertmaster of the Dallas Symphony Orchestra and professor of music at Indiana University. I'd like to talk a little bit today about my favorite orchestral violin solo, Ein Heldenleben, by Richard Strauss. The piece was written in 1898, and it's an often disputed fact that whether Strauss wrote this autobiographically or not, what isn't in dispute is the fact that the violin solo is based off the character of his wife, Paulina. Now, Strauss wrote about Paulina to his friend Roland that she was sometimes perverse, often strange, never the same way twice, a little coquettish. And it's this character that we're trying to bring off to an audience. Um, even the very beginning, Paulina's entrance is incredibly dramatic. When she comes in, it's almost as if she's saying, I'm here, but she's not being heard. So she gets upset. The center, second entrance, when she comes in, she's more upset, a little bit louder, and almost, get, almost seething in intensity, almost biting with her words. It's the contrast between her, this biting words, and her trying to keep control over herself, remaining a lady, remaining the coquette. That's the interesting dialogue at this, the beginning of this first section. So I'd like to play a little bit of this first section and explain how I actually try to get, bring this, uh, uh, this character across to an audience. First thing, the first entrance, I'm trying to first establish her, the sound that I think of Paulina. This sound is inherently feminine. Um, whether that's a stereotypical version of feminine, maybe a Victorian era perception of femininity, probably. One thing you can do as a, as, uh, when you're studying the piece is to think, just experiment on one note to determine what's the ultimate contact point that you'd like to use for, for this opening.